A dinner invitation. And with whom are you dining this evening? Maxwell Roth. The leader of the Blighters? You're not going. Of course not. He set out in an instant, and as all his people except us. Hmm. Better check the back. I'm here to see Mr. Roth. Weapons? No, thank you. I've got my own. You should be on the stage, sir. This way. has arrived. Come, sit. I've had my eye on you for some time. I find your heroics in battle in the great Crawford Sterrick quite magnificent. I've been picking off your soldiers one by one. Doesn't that make you angry? On the contrary. Surprise is a spice of life. Now, Mr. Sterrick, that's a different story. I'm drowning in directives, all terribly pouring. Let's say we work together and bring him down. <sighs> I'm not so sure about that. My friend, if I fail to provide you with the chance to cause Staric some pain, well, you can charge into this theater and kill me yourself. What do you get out of all this? The chance to have a little fun with the bravest man in London. <laughs> you have a deal. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, my carriage. Shall we? Way. Well, you don't expect me to go alone, do you? Whoa, easy. Take the reins. Keep moving. Driver, to St Pancras. And don't spare the horses. I thought you and Staric would be fighting for the same ends. What happened? Ah, uh, you know, he required my services to train his gang leaders. But the man is dreadful. You don't say. Freedom, Jake. Stealing that is far more than a sin. It denies us our humanity. Right you are. And St. Pancras will ease our suffering? The station contains a large shipment of explosives to be dispatched to Staric and Co. There's a train parked inside St. Pancras. Then I'm to do away with Starrick's merchandise, leaving chaos in my wake? Why not, Jacob? Why not? As we speak, the up train is headed towards us. That may help you enter the station unseen. As long as it remains on the tracks. I'd say good luck, but you don't need it. I shall make certain any reinforcements from Steric are kept away from the station.
are they? Nearly there. Someday, you blighters will understand that I'm doing this for your own good. Some blights! Chris, grab him! Drag him out! But what's he doing we here? We got a visitor! Your mother! <laughs> Down. Be ashamed to stop now. One shipment left. Something just isn't right here. What's making that noise? That's a fact. My brother is dead because of a robot. <laughs> Find somebody to drive this hunk of metal. God protect me. Get your bleeding hands off me. What do you think you're up to? Hush now. Please. Do be quiet, sir. No need to make a fuss. What do you want from me? I just need you to keep the engine stoked. All right, I'll help you. Don't hurt me. Think of me as another passenger. I just happen to have a rather large blade pointed at your back. Ooh. Be quiet, sir. No need to make a fuss. That... Would you be so kind as to get up some steam? Will be on his knees in no time. My hat is off to you. Apologies, I must run. Do come see me again.
Jacob. He is beautiful, isn't he? <laughs> I planned a perfect second out in forests. Have you? There's borrowing to be done. Three of Starrick's henchmen are about to disappear. Oh, you sly devil. Oh, and I'm coming along this time. There is no sense in giving you all the glory. Off to my carriage we go, Lewis! Jacob, our carriage awaits. You know how it is. These cowardly fools under Steric have built their own prisons. <laughs> it's a dreadful waste. They could be building gangs instead. No, no. Why build when you can ebb and flow like the sea? I would not aim to pin them down. Oh, you wouldn't, would you? What about your bird? I dare say I shall never tire of the National Gallery. Why does Starrick interest himself with art? Bring your carriage around and wait for the cargo. I shan't be very long. Someone around here must know Miss Hattie Cadwallader. I'm looking for Miss Hattie Cadwallader. I ain't seen her. I knows what she's been up to, though. And what's that? Friggin' art, sir. She pinched a statue not far from here. The statue must be around here somewhere. You, so hey, Smalley. Know anything about what happened here? I saw he pinched it, sir. Miss Cadwallader? She odds down the sewers, sir. Rather pleasant out today, wouldn't you agree? I suppose. Could do with a bit of a change. Of course it's sewers. Why the bloody sewers? Who sent me? Then who? Maxwell Roth sent his regards. What a pleasant surprise. No. You'll be hearing from Mr. Starrick, Roth. Ha. Why the Alhambra? I look forward to it. <laughs> Every good criminal needs a place to invest his ill-gotten gains. And what's better than distracting the world with a little night entertainment while you do so? Oh, come now. You can't tell me you don't enjoy the triumph of a well-received crime. Applauded some praise, the reviews. I enjoy. Ah, the bar. The dwelling place of Starrick's head of security, one Benjamin Raffles. Those who cross him tend to disappear without warning. Sounds like we'll be fast friends. Be careful. His guards are never far away. Oh, no, 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 no,
Of this did Roth send you the villain you have your villains mixed up mr. raffles the man you work for is the real villain here my most fragrant raffles how very good to see you again got well Roth it's into the back with you then who is this Lewis that works for you a bit of an odd fish, isn't it? To me, a few years past. He's very solemn. But always so polite. There he has many other talents. Who am I looking for? Chester Swinehorn. A copper by day and snitch by night. Remove him from the pack, and you cut Starrick's ties to the police force. Must be good at what he does to keep the charade going for so long. He is indeed, dear boy. All these bobbies give me goose flesh. Welcome to Scotland, Yard. Now, now, Swineborn. Let's not make a scene. You're not going to get away with this. Oh, oh, someone's up oh to no but good. I am. Where are you taking me? A friend would like to say a quick how do you do. Come find me at the Elabra. I have more amusements planned for us. Why, my dear, I've something to show you. Hop in. Where are we going? One of Starrick's workshops, where they build weapons for his army. When the world is full of nasty things, we must tear those things apart. Like Starrick built a world around. 
Who's a good horse? You are. Funkin' you. You must see the potential, dear Jacob. This workshop is one of sterics. Set the dynamite and let's blow it to atoms. Together. That's one. Rigged up. Perfect. Let's put our plan into action. Stand back. Ready. Wait. Whatever for? There are children in there. <laughs> Jacob, my dear. Starek uses child labor to manufacture goods. We must put an end to his production yeah, line. But not like this. Why not? I can do whatever I damn well please. Soon. You will understand what it is to be free, as I am. Light them up, boys! No! What the hell are you doing? We're not playing games anymore, Roth! No. We're not.
A gift, sir, from Mr. Roth. You should be warned, Mr. Fry, that when Roth is angry with one, he generally brings suffering to many. My dearest Jacob, alas, it seems our adventures together have come to a close. Although our time together was brief, it's left a lasting mark. I wish you well in all your future endeavors. Cordially, Maxwell. Post scriptum. I'm putting on a show this evening. All of London will be there. Enclosed, please find your invitation. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Alhambra Music Hall. Tonight, we have, for one night only, a very special performance of Corvus the Trickster. While some of the effects may be visceral and highly disturbing, do not be alarmed, my good people. Fear not, this is a purest form of entertainment. I'll be serving you this evening, gentlemen. You're still here, loud. Last time, I swear, you nearly poisoned us. Scene two, stand by. Point blank range. 
He's not wrath. Leaves a strange taste in your mouth, doesn't it? Like eating pork when expecting venison. Oh. Enjoyed your evening so far, ladies and gentlemen. I know I have. Now, before our final act, I would like to toast all you brave people who joined us tonight to celebrate life and death. Go on, toast them! <laughs> your move, Jacob, my dear. Burn! Burn! Baby crow's neck between my thumb and forefinger. Slice to bits the ones you deem innocent. Keep the world in its divine, manic state. For the same reason, I do anything. Why not? this place from hell to Hackney.
Disorder. The sea rises to flood the pubs and extinguish the street lamps. Our city will die. Tupane has failed. Lucy has failed. Brudenell Elliotson. Pearl. All have gone into the night. It's up to me now. The assassins have brought nature's fury into our homes. Men have become monsters. Barreling toward us, teeth out. Our civilization must survive this onslaught. prevent a return of the Dark Ages. I will start anew. London must be reborn. The Peace of Eden is under Buckingham Palace. We've got all we need. Let's start planning our infiltration. Hold on, better to get visual verification. If we're going to move, we need to be 100% sure. We'll only get one shot before Otso Berg crashes down on us. Gotta agree with Sean. We'll position ourselves near the palace, but we'll wait for you to sync the genetic data before we move. It's all up to you, Initiate. 